shatter the mirror of self-deception. Invest in a better future. Build community. Learn life skills. At its simplest level, you can reconnect with yourself to learn and to grow. There are no barriers. None. All is possible. All of this begins in the moment. And it's in the moment that you can change your world. Fear is the enemy of positive change. That's why we encourage individuals to lift themselves when they feel overwhelmed with fear or tired or anxious. Your internal slowdown is your ability to recognize, acknowledge, and take responsibility for your own feelings, thoughts, and actions. Don't waste your time trying to rationalize your way through a problem or a performance. Accept what you are feeling and shatter the mirror of self-deception. The 3D feedback provided by real reflections on the surface of the mirror varies greatly depending on the mirror's reflectivity. That reflectivity, as well as any reduction in refractive index of the lens material and the mirror glass, will affect the optical distortion due to the mirror. Why do mirrors have a low index of refraction? Mirrors are transparent yet absorb photons that strike them. It is the wavelength that accounts for their low index of refraction. A high wavelength is indicative of a high index of refraction. Shatter the mirror of self-deception. Break the grimoire. Break 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 the grimoire. Become the mirror of your self-deception. Build up your willpower. Clash with your life to accept the coming dawn. When you've gone through the final trial, break through to the threshold. Intentionally tracking to match linguistic styles, word positions, forms, context, and mood. In this erotic phonology chapter, we'll see how vowels, consonants, and other aspects of speech have evolved along with speech acts and the expression of emotion. We'll look at how calligraphers use ancient vernacular and word forms to create modern typographical forms. How a particular rhythm of grammar is found in a particular urban setting, and how dictionaries indicate important dialectical aspects of language. Along the way, we'll look at how Pidgin English may have developed, because English was easy for small groups to communicate with their immediate neighbors, and as a means to international business. Part 2. We'll explore the link between intentionality tracking to match linguistic styles and attention to intentionality in the linguistic style. Attention to intentionality in linguistic style insofar as it is the means by which words construct, claim, and specify the past or future has been an obsession with 19th century linguists, not least Voltaire, Randolph, Schoenfinkel, Spencer, and Kuker. This particular aspect of the theory, in fact, played a central role in the mentalistic conception of language. The second law of thermodynamics implies, without purpose or intentionality, that your theoretical vocabulary becomes increasingly atrophied and useless as time goes by, until it becomes indistinguishable from the vocabulary of nature itself. In a word, only that which has been constructed and explained can exist, hence a claim of intentionality, as well as a representation of the intentionality tracking to match linguistic styles follows from attention to intentionality in linguistic style. 
shatter the mirror of self-deception. Theories of mind are far more probable on the basis of linguistic style than in a pure descriptive account. For all that linguists can know about the historical sources of an unconscious or deliberately deceptive act, they know enough to see that linguistic usage, particularly colloquial style, is reasonably consistent with a large number of psychophysical properties. That said, linguistic style also provides a fine window on the mental processes. It is not appropriate to say that the ambiguity in a particular context is caused by idiosyncratic mental processes, because the idiosyncratic mental processes are themselves unconscious. The types of psychological phenomena that a particular argument requires for a causal explanation can be anticipated, as well as the effects of specific sets of semantics and usage, such as the effects of a claim. Hashtag authentic sovereignty. Hashtag bodily autonomy. Hashtag cognitive liberty. Hashtag expand right to try. Hashtag liberty care. Hashtag end the drug war. Hashtag just housing. Hashtag free the lucid. Hashtag Benji2020. Part 2. Competitional Linguistic Tracking. Listening to a book read while reading AI chat with a human. Graham Hancock calls DMT jungle vision in comparison to television. Tibetans call it Vajra vision. The New Earth Settlement is the classical notion that if you cause no harm to others, you are protected by the social contract that ensures your liberty to be as smart or dumb as you wish in how you consume. That is what makes Western culture great. And many non-Western cultures get the idea not because it is unique to Western culture, but because, just like how ayahuasca introduces any human to the nature and history of human consciousness, the protection of life liberty and property for those who do not harm others is the best way to minimally organize collectives of humans both for the community and the individual as autonomous beings living in multiplicity there must be commonly agreed to respect for and responsibility to that multiplicity and our roles as individuals within it most essentially not to harm one another, and by extension from that, the agreement to protect one another from harm if we are not causing harm to others, as the most critical and foundationally fundamental agreement. If we don't have that, then we are working on something distracted from or in denial of that which must be most primarily established as a most basic and minimal responsibility as autonomous human agents. Like eat, sleep, shelter yourself, and strive to establish and protect that just and proper liberty, or succumb to games distracting people from that. It really has gotten that clear in my thinking and approach now. I hope I have not oversimplified things unfairly, or overcomplicated the simple in the aim to clarify its importance. Bodily autonomy. It is not the government's body. It is not your body. It is not your option. To think otherwise is a very sad and dangerous issue, probably resulting in the equally problematic thinking that you can help anything politically without ending the drug war, since honestly, you have to address the root of the issue, bodily autonomy. If one does not have a right to one's own body, we do not have an establishment a free and civil society. Yes, impermanence and the community follow-through of eliminating wastefulness and the allowance of people's actions to unfold as they want them to requires solidarity and initiative in the agreement of non-aggression. To the protection from harm justly extended to those who cause no harm to others, but not in the protection of individuals from themselves 
and their autonomous actions, non-harmful to others, that individuals are responsible for to themselves and in the consequences of actions in society to oneself and others. That is the establishment of the common understanding to feel and speak to most primarily. by astonishment thing takes years of practice. So what you're looking